I'm about to go off like a weapon. Fuel to the top, got a filled up benches. In my thoughts, obsession. Uh, I think we're gonna have to fight this guy. Yeah. Are there two? Oh, hell no. Nah. What? Okay. Oh, fuck me. In the poison ivy is this thing? And where the hell did the other one go? Alright. So. I guess in her mind this is just normal. So we're just going to keep going. I thought it was her. What is that? A dog? I can't go that way. Mare and a horse. And a dog. This can't be. Was a strength one. I think it wants us to go in here. I Batista bombed her. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? know about the dark man haunting your uncle I'm familiar with his mental state I think we all in his head somehow because these streets are real but they're not like on any map nah this is like when you remember something but in the wrong way do you know how to get back to Dorsetto I'm not safe here true words have yet been spoken Mrs. Marcus don't call me that it's Miss Emily Hartwood there's no reason to call me anything else I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. So 
So he's he's not gonna come with me, huh? We're just gonna take his shit, huh? All right. What's that? Okay. All right. Everyone needs a uh, dead reptile, I guess. Are you staying here? For a while. Want to see if Jeremy shows up. All right, good talk. So I guess we're going back out here. I guess we're in Jeremy's head. Seems like a safe place so far. Okay. The map is not going to help us out here. I don't really know which direction I'm supposed to be heading. Uh, there's another uh, friend down that way. So I'm guessing we're heading the right way. He looks a little bigger than the last one. Uh, Fuck me. Ah. I'm gonna have to fight this. To, oh. He's gurgling and shit. Alright. Well. What the hell? Whoa, whoa, what's going on there? Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, there was an... I did not know that was there. I don't really know which way we're supposed to be going as part of the problem. He said down the street. Which makes it sound real close. Right. So we got another weapon. I feel like I may have accidentally skipped a step because there was some distance. Not liking the look of this. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, god. I hope we weren't gonna, like, consume that. There's another one. Yep, 
Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. How do I switch to my axe? Because it's not switching. There we go, there we go. Oh, I didn't know that could break. Oh, God, I didn't know that could break. That is... That's not good. There's no way. How is that not hitting him? Why are you going that way, bitch? Okay. Oh, fuck. Have one bullet. I don't know what we're supposed to do with one bullet. I don't think we're in the right spot. I can almost guarantee we're not in the right spot. That's not going to help us. This must be Miss Jackson's place. We Let's are at the right find spot. Out more about Jeremy's talisman. Well, hopefully Miss Jackson has some ammo cuz I'm gonna take it. Guess we'll look at this. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. So we need to use it to get back to... How do you do that? I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Wait, can I look around more? Time out. I'm not sure what numbers I oh. should use. Maybe Time there's out. something in Jeremy's notes. I want to find ammo first. That door has no handle. That door also has no handle. What is happening? Apparently we can't go in there. Yeah, can't go in there. Okay, so... I guess we'll just go back.
No? Okay. Darkman Convent. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between the scrapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Howard Stern? He's into this kind of shit? Not where I want to be, but it's a start. 358. Not where I want to be, but it's a, I feel like that's going to bring me somewhere I don't want to be. And then I'm going to wish I found more ammo. I already, I already forgot that number. 358. picture in the glass where is that i'm sorry miss jackson good to see you again miss hartwood mrs thompson told me you were here she also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Is he flirting with me? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I you better not try anything. My uncle. He seems certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the dark man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. 
You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Chapter 2. Detective Carnby. There he is. God, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. This is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> Catch you later. Shit's about to go sideways again. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. I could have sworn I just heard a door. I'm just gonna go in, I think. Hopefully no one's back here. Here we go. I noticed in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a vow from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Okay, so wine cellar has the valve. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally... Okay. We don't have to listen to all that. Okay, thank you for that. The door shutting and everything keep, uh... They keep psyching me out a little bit. Not gonna lie. We got a safe back here, huh? Maybe grab a little moolah, you know? You got a little money in there, or what? Am I gonna be leaving here a rich man? Well, woman, I guess, technically. They shoved someone in here. With someone who, like, people who think they're possessed because she had writer's block? Oh, okay, there's a little bit more to the story than just writer's block. Uh, should have read a little farther in. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. She's in here because she needs parental guidance. Because her father passed away. What? Okay. This guy I, I can relate to. This guy. He admitted himself into this place because he needed some damn rest. That's hilarious. Oh, he's also an alcoholic. Okay. I mean... Thirty-three question mark. Okay. She's clearly lying about her age. Oh, that's weird. So she claimed to be this chick uh, who disappeared one night, like 20 years before. Or X amount of years before, whatever. And she just showed up here one night, confused, out of her mind, suffering from an age. Yeah, I mean, that's a ghost, or she was in that weird little delusional land thing, and now she's here. Obviously. I'm not a detective, but I mean, come on. I am smart. Kind of. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Okay, so... In modern language, Ruth basically started an OnlyFans. And her father threw her in this place so that she can't have access to it anymore. That's, that's basically what was going on here. She comes from considerable wealth. She's provoked many rumors of being a flapper and a nymphomaniac. Interesting. Oh, wait, no. I, was there more to that? I'm trying to learn about these patients, you know? Because I'm sure my uncle is in here somewhere. He's not in here. That is weird. Patient that is strange. Jeremy's. She pointed that out. I'm glad she took note of that. Now let's That's break into sturdy. this bad boy. Yeah, and I'll be opening this. Okay, that's not gonna work. I need the key. Okay, I figured. Figured that would not work. We desperately need to find more pistol ammo because I really don't know when they're just going to send me back into that little weird area. There's the bear. I heard that clock, but I don't see where that would have... That's the front I can't door. Leave. I need to find Jeremy. Yeah, I get it. Um, okay. Oh wait, that's mm. the clock. Okay, that's a wait, these kind of look like the monsters. I see what you did there. I get it. Where is All right, who was in bedroom six? Perosi, okay. Perosi's room. 
all the way at the end and to the left. Okay. Please be some ammo. And we got nothing. There we go. That was only one? Shit. What we got? What a strange but beautiful room. That's a puzzle. There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. Yeah, I see what's going on there. You got to connect it all the way through. I want to look around first, though, because I don't know what that's about to the throw me into. The Astarian Colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. There's numbers on that, too, so there's some... Okay, I see what's going on here. We got quite a bit of puzzles is what's going on. Do I need on. to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Okay. Hmm, are these zodiac signs? The simp Now where's There we go. One Is that an eleven? Okay, so we got like, I, I don't know the Zodiacs. So we got like waves, waves, waves and arrow and a, an M, W thing. That looks like a sperm. Is that not it? That's clearly not it. Okay. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Interesting. Okay. That one looks good, I think. No. Oh, shit. Is that what I was supposed to do or no? Maybe? I don't think it is, actually. That looks good to me. Oh, okay. Hmm. That noise makes me feel like it just threw us somewhere. Look at 
this again. What names are showing? Will, Frank, and Nora. Will, Frank, and Nora. So two, four, nine. Two, four, nine. So two, four, nine. Was that two? I think that was two. I gotta look again. Whole lot of puzzles going on in this one. Two, four, nine. So the loops, the dip, sunset. Okay. The loops, the dip, sunset. No? Really? It's gotta be in order though, doesn't it? I bet you it's not in order. Okay, so it's 294. 294. Okay. 294. There we go. Ah, here we go. Got a piece of a broken plate. Alright. So does that mean... Completed? Look at that. Alright. So what we gotta do now? So we gotta go to that clock. We're also gonna go to the boiler room. Okay. I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, got a filled up engine. In my thoughts, obsession.